Hi guys, this is Peter. Welcome to another Stage Tricks tutorial. Today I would like to talk about working with PDF files. You can see I'm here in the app and um, I would like to attach a PDF file to get lucky. So, how do I do that? I open Zong Details and here you can see the item PDF document. If you tap on it and uh, uh, a file browser will be opened. I will browse somewhere to PDF files. Only PDF files can be selected in this mode. So let's select Get Lucky. And uh, here you see now the PDF attached to the document. If you want to remove it, you need to slide the entry to the left or use the uh, right click on the Mac and then select Delete. Now, Tapping it again will open the file browser again. So let's select it again. Um, if a PDF document is attached to a song, tapping on this will not open the file browser, but will open the annotation editor. And in the annotation editor, you can um, use these pencils at the bottom to add annotations to the songs. So um, let's say I select a color, uh, will zoom in and add, for example, some text. Okay, yeah. Um, this here is a, a wider pencil. Here you can highlight something. It's like a marker, and here you can remove annotations. Annotations are stored within the PDF file, so if you uh, copy or share that file uh, with someone else, these annotations will be included. Now, um, once we have done that, we can open the big view and it will be displayed here. The annotation editor can also be opened in this view with this pencil icon. Um, the clear button will get rid of all annotations that you have added. So if you have a couple of annotations you want to get rid of, just press the clear button. Cancel will not save it. Uh, there are two different modes uh, to display a PDF document. The default mode is to always match the width of the document. So if we uh, close the song list, the document will be zoomed to occupy the whole white. Um, the other display mode that we can use is to always use the whole, um, the whole height. So if you want to view the whole screen, which uh, the the whole page, I'm sorry, uh, which makes sense, for example, in portrait mode, when you use an iPad in portrait mode, you can go to settings, lyrics and PDF, and um, change the PDF scale mode here to height. Now you can see the whole page will be displayed. Personally, I like to work with width mode. Scrolling can be done manually, just by swiping, or tapping here at the right-hand side to scroll a visible page down. A page means what you see on the screen. Um, and on the left to scroll up. Or you can do time-coded scrolling, similar to lyrics. Um, to do that, let me show you, you open so song details, and now you need to go to edit lyrics. Even though we don't have any lyrics here, um, the uh, stage tracks tags used to define scrolling are added in the lyrics editor. Um, so these are tags, uh, that means they need to be placed into brackets. And the command you need to enter is PDF, that stands for a PDF tag. At this means we uh, want to activate this command at a certain time position. Let's say minutes 
it start, always starts with minutes and seconds, 10 seconds. And then you can add a point and add milliseconds if you want, or if you're fine with seconds, just add a semicolon. And now comes the command. Um, you can write either page or just P and a number. This will show page two at the timestamp 10 seconds into the song. Now let's add another. If you want to um, uh, to have this a little bit finer, to, to select uh, a little bit finer what to display, each page is divided into 10 segments uh, vertically. So uh, you can directly jump, for example, into the middle of the page by jumping to segment five. So it's numbered from one to 10. One is at the top, 10 is at the bottom of the page and five is in the middle. We will do that. So PDF at, let's say, uh, five sec seconds later, it should scroll down to the uh, middle of page two, dot five. And that's it. When we save it, jump, let's say a couple of seconds before the first jump, we play it. Now 10 seconds, page two is displayed. Five seconds later, middle of page two is displayed. And this scrolling does not only uh, is not only able to scroll down in the page, but you can also scroll up. So if you have, for example, repeat marks in your sheets, you want to scroll back in, uh, to a previous page, for example. That's of course possible. And um, this makes it really easy uh, to quickly um, uh, def define your um, scrolling behavior for PDF files and you no longer need to worry about uh, manually scrolling your pages. So that's it for today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Bye bye.